everybody and happy Monday. So I have been wanting to do Monday motivational videos for quite some time and I took a little break from YouTube and I wasn't as consistent but um, I'm loving just creating more content and choreography and thank you so much you guys for watching and connecting with me. It's just so much fun for me. So anyway, aside from my Wednesday dance videos, um, every Monday I'm going to be coming to you with something just to talk about. And back in January when I originally wanted to start this, I actually have a big list of things that other instructors or um, even clients had about things that they wanted to talk about. So today, for today's first Motivational Monday, we're going to talk about success in a new class. And I think no matter if you've been teaching for one day or multiple decades, I think that we're always trying to be better, do better for ourselves and our clients. Um, and raise your hand if you agree with me. So here are a few things that have helped me in the past and now because I'm still very new in California and um, having my own class and subbing a lot, it's very different than being back where I'm from, from New Jersey, where all of my people are from and that I know and I'm comfortable with. But I very, I remember like very, very well what some of my very first classes when I first started teaching um, fitness in general because it was actually regular fitness I taught before dance fitness. So here are just a few things and if you have anything to add, please comment below and help anybody else out with what you feel that has helped you. So um, number one, you want to check out the venue or wherever or the studio or the gym, wherever you're going to teach prior before you get there. So I know that we get so super excited that we got the job, we're ready to go, but you want to know um, about the sound system. Trust me, you want to know how it works. And I remember back when we used to make CDs, like I used to make double CDs. I used to have it on my iPod. I used to always make sure my music was set and ready to go. So make sure you check out the venue what kind of sound system it is, make sure you know how to work it. If it doesn't work, who are you going to go to to assist you if something happens, things like that, because there's nothing worse than maybe even running late for a class, um, getting ready to go and something's going on with the system, and it could be just one small thing. Um, take other classes at the, at the venue of where you're going to be teaching. Number one, to get to know the staff, get to know the clients that you're going to be teaching. Um, and just to get to know the area because your first class and trust me I've been teaching so long and I'm still super nervous anytime I teach but nerves are good because it just means that you care so make sure you're taking classes at the venue that you go to have a free class for people like maybe some friends maybe do a few songs and this doesn't just have to be dance fitness this could be anything whether it be boot camp or any kind of fitness class that you're teaching because um, I've taught so many different kinds but um just so you get comfortable. And then another thing that you can do is ask another instructor at the venue, if this is allowed, if you can do some classes, I mean some songs or a part of the class so you can get familiar with it, you can get more comfortable. That was a big thing when I was mentored at the gym where I was that we were allowed to do a couple of songs in the class that we were gonna either take over or as a place that we were gonna teach just so everybody got to know each other. It was really, really great. Um, I was still nervous the first day by myself, but it was definitely helped me get more uh, comfortable with where I was going to be. Um, okay, you can do, okay, the couple of songs. Okay, have, have the credentials. So meaning um, make sure that you feel comfortable with whatever format you are going to teach. Um, and honestly, I think that getting better comes with practice. Like we can prepare, but it's actually in the do. So um Again, whether it's your first class or 100th class, um, we're always looking to get better. But just make sure, so if it's Zumba, make sure you've gotten certified. Um, I'm a big component of getting your group exercise certification as well because you learn so much about musicality, cueing, um, I mean, uh, uh, how to, um, uh, like eye contact, uh, verbal, nonverbal cueing, things like that. So, um, and great places to find music. And also, with your, you connect with so many amazing people. So, in taking those certifications, you're going to grow your network. Um, also, ask people, um, okay, so for your first class, you want people that you feel so comfortable with to come. And family and friends are always first. And they're usually so supportive in, in coming with you, whether like they like to do the class or not. It's so great to have people that are familiar that will make you so happy to be there. Um, and honestly, if you mess up, it's just not a big deal. I've been teaching 
for so long. And if any of my clients, um, especially back in New Jersey, like I would mess up all the time and like they would be going one way and I'd go another, but it just doesn't matter. I trust me. Um, okay. Invite people personally. So, I mean, social media is huge. Get excited. Let people know what you're doing. Um, the more people that are familiar that'll be there, the more excited you'll be about doing the class. And then this, I actually think is huge. So you never want to do, before you do a class, you don't want to just start the music and you never just want to end class. It should be personal and you should really connect with whether you have five people in your class or 50, you should really connect with everyone. So before class, introducing yourself, letting people know how excited you are to be there, maybe a little quote. Like I always tell everybody, forget about what you did before class and forget about what you're doing after. Literally release your mind and your body and just go. Let it go. Because for most people, that 30 minutes or 45 minutes or an hour is all they have to really – Forget, be by themselves, they don't have to worry about kids or a, a husband or a job or a significant other or anything like that. So just having that small little connection and at the end of class, same thing, you know, um, a way to connect with, people, connect with people, ask them where they could find you. Um, I used to love, one of my favorite things about after teaching class is just, you know, going on other people's wall and saying, great job so-and-so or I loved your outfit, like really connecting with them. Uh, after class and letting them know you're, that you care because I know for me even taking other people's classes when an instructor notices me I'm like oh my god I have um, a favorite instructor um, at Soul Cycle that I take here in California and anytime she says my name in class I swear I ride so much faster so I hope those few bullet points ha will help you in your first class or whether it's your first class or not because um, I'm always learning from other instructors and always learning and growing. So if there is a topic that you want to hear about, I want to know about it. Um, and again, if you, if there is something that I didn't add, please write below. I always read the comments and I want to know what you guys think. So have a happy Monday. I will see you next week. Mwah.